Are you thinking about adding a Maltese to your family or already have one? Have you ever wondered where they first came from or about their lineage? Well, stick around as in this video, we'll be discussing everything you could possibly want to know about the history of your Maltese. Welcome back to the Fenrir Maltese Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss another upload. So let's jump right in. The Maltese is a dog breed that has a long history. In fact, Charles Darwin supposedly put the breed's origin at around 6000 BC. A children's toy of a dog that is very closely resembling the Maltese has been found in excavations that have been dated back to 8000 BC. The Maltese is a favoured lap dog to ancient Romans and Greeks. They've appeared in both Roman and Greek literature. It was also carved into ancient jugs, which proves the breed was around at this time. It's believed that the breed's origins started in Malta. Sailors would use Maltese dogs to keep rats and rodents away from the ship's food supplies. They were also used to barter as currency for sailors to buy food. However, in Malta, the Maltese was a companion for aristocrats. They were treated with a lot of respect and lived a high society lifestyle. The breed was also mentioned in Aristotle, who was a Greek philosopher. The Maltese has been referred to as many different names over the years, including the Ye Ancient Dog of Malta, the Roman Lady's Dog, Spaniel Gentle, Maltese Lion Dog, Bichon, Maltese Terrier and the Comforter. It is thought that the Maltese are direct descendants of the Bichon Frise, the Bolognese and the Havanese breeds. However, others believe that the breeds have descended from Spitz or Spaniel type dogs. The Roman governor of Malta named Publius had a pet Maltese that was called Issa. Issa was so popular she had a poem written by Roman poet Marshall. In the poem, Issa is said to be more flattering than all the girls and more dear than India's gems. Issa also features in a painting commissioned by her owner. It is a theory that Emperor Claudius brought the first Maltese over to the UK. Hey guys, I wanted to very quickly let you know, if you're not already, that you should absolutely be following us over on Instagram. There'll be links down in the description box below, but we've got multiple Instagrams. One for Fenrir, our company, where you can see all of the awesome things that we're doing over there. You could follow me personally over on Instagram, or maybe come and check out our journey with our 12-week-old English Mastiff puppy Eileen. Either way, can't wait to see you over there. In the 15th century, the Maltese had become a favourite of French aristocrats. And by the end of the 16th century, the breed was extremely popular in the UK with nobles and royalty. The Maltese dog became at risk during the 17th and 18th century. People tried to breed the Maltese to be the size of a squirrel as it was already classed as a toy breed size. Miniature spaniels, poodles and East Asian miniature dogs were crossed to try and save the breed from becoming extinct due to their attempt of breeding them to be smaller. During the mid-1800s to the early 1900s, there were only 24 Maltese dogs registered to the UK Kennel Club. The increase of popularity towards the breed is also thanks to Lady Gifford, who showcased the pure white breed. Queen Elizabeth I and Queen Victoria were lovers of the breed also, and had been painted alongside their Maltese canines throughout the years. It's also believed that Mary Queen of Scots owned a Maltese who was rumoured to have been under the Queen's underskirts during her beheading. The Maltese was recognised by the American Kennel Club in 1888. However, many of today's American Maltese can have their ancestry traced all the way back to the English imported Maltese. The popularity of the breed steadily increased until 1950. Since then, the Maltese has become quite popular. The breed first entered the Westminster Kennel Club show in 1870. Today, the breed is one of the most popular breeds for spectators at dog shows. They also often win in the toy group categories. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comment section below. And don't forget if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Maltese videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Maltese Show.